Fox News. I know you're upset about Obama's career breakfast speech. Um, bowling, um, Todd Starnes, uh, the Liberty Institute. I know all right-wing conservative groups are screaming bloody murder. The thing is, your arguments would have more validity if you would admit that Christianity, Western and white Christians have sinned. Um, you act like we are so righteous and that he's denigrating Christianity. The problem is there have been a lot of false Christians who've used the Bible for heinous acts and you have to call that out. Say yes, evil people justified slavery. Evil people justified segregation. The Crusades, while maybe a self-defense position in the forest, became a power grab. And just a war of attrition, the Inquisition, etc. But the thing is, Fox, the thing is, Mr. Bowling, the thing is, Liberty, uh, Liberty Institute, I don't think you want to. And I think I know why. I mean, this may be deep in your subconscious, but if you admit that some evil men use Christianity to justify these things, you might have to admit that people are using Christianity today to justify some evil things. Um, supporting policies that are destroying this planet. Supporting economic policies that reward the kings of the earth while hurting the poor. Thing is, part of Christianity is repentance. Part of Christianity is accepting our sins, not just individual, but corporate. And Obama. I don't know if this is what he did, but if he did, this is very astute of him. He always plays you, and you always fall right into his hands. You're, you prove the point that atheists are trying to make. That Christianity does more harm than good. That it's a hypocritical faith. It benefits the wealthy over the poor. Sometimes in my more cynical times, I wonder if that's the point. I wonder if you guys really aren't Christians at all. That you do all this. And Christians have been doing this all since the Crusades. I mean, heck, since Constantine. As a way of defaming, of blaspheming the faith of calling good evil and evil good. And so, people who are against the faith have reason to attack us. I mean, it's ironic that you are crying persecution while there are true Christians who are being persecuted for their faith in Pakistan, Iran, North Korea, Africa, China. Being sued because you won't make a cake for same-sex marriage, that's not persecution. That's an inconvenience. Now, I don't think they should sue. I think that that's overusing the legal system. I think that they should go to another bakery and then launch a boycott. Um, but the worse you become, the more ammunition that atheists have against the faith and true Christians suffer. And that's why I wonder if that's your point. Sometimes I wonder if your network and the entire religious right, that's your purpose. You might not even know it. 
I mean, you might be manipulated thinking you're serving God, but you're actually serving Satan. I mean, you might be dupes. I mean, I, I hope that you are, because if you are dupes, and if you do not know what you are doing, it makes it less evil. And I believe there's hope for you. But if you're actually doing this, knowing what you're doing, you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit. You're linking God to something evil. And that's the only unforgivable sin. So, admit our sin. Do it with love. Stop spreading the hate. Even if you disagree with something, disagree with it with facts, not with slander, not with mistruths, not with innuendo. That's not the way a Christian operates. We work with love, mercy, truth, and justice. God bless you. And please, repent.